So what I'm going to explain today is the different models of how you produce content uh, for social media. So first is the peso model. This is where I operate. This is where my company functions. Uh, peso is an acronym for paid media, earned media, shared media, and owned media. So paid media is the pay-per-click advertising, uh, Google AdWords, Facebook ads. We're not really going to talk about that in context for that, but that is one part of it. The earned media is traditional public relations. So when you read a story in the New York Times or Wall Street Journal or something like that about uh, contracting or uh, your industry, it's been placed there probably by uh, some public relations agency. And the reason that we do that is so we can get third party validation for our customers. We want them to be the authority. The more that people read about you in the St. Louis Business Journal, uh, in the patch, in whatever uh, trade publication you want to be published in, the more top of mind awareness that you have and the more content you have to share. So the key to good social media marketing is to have good core content. And then finally, uh, the owned. The own media is the self-authored stuff, the stuff that you would read on a company website, like a blog, uh, the marketing copy that's on uh, the website that actually pushes people towards your website when they're searching for Google and that search engine optimization, and it's also self-authored press releases. So what we say is everything is newsworthy. Even something that happened six months ago is newsworthy. It can be an award that you won. It can be a new product you're bringing. It, you could be the first person to, first company to install this type of product in St. Louis. That would be newsworthy. So that peso content feeds into the marketing funnel. So the traditional marketing funnel is you take all your prospective customers, the people that are just casually looking at the top of the funnel and there that's where you create an awareness so at that point they're just looking they may not be ready to buy but they think that they may have a need sometime in the future so from that they may leave the funnel for a while and then come back when it gets closer to the time when they'll actually need it so they're anticipating either selling their house or uh, they need to uh, put a new roof on their business then they're going to start engaging. They're going to start their research. So they're going to come back into the sales funnel and they're going to read more information. And typically, who do you go to? You go to the person that you know, like, and trust. People buy from people. People don't buy from companies. So I'm going to go to the person that I know that I've created a relationship with and I'm going to research and I'm going to ask them and I'm going to ask people that know them, should I work with this company? Is this a company that uh, can meet my needs? Because I need a solution and I probably need it pretty quickly. And then finally, at the bottom is where you actually convert. You're drilling it down to just a few people. Uh, and at that point, if your salesperson or whoever's doing your business development hasn't created a relationship, you're not going to be in that consideration. So it's important at all levels of the sales funnel to have a conversation with people. And then finally, that feeds into the social success cycle, which we will actually break down. So I just want you to think about what content do you have to share? Did you win a, a small business award? Uh, we do a lot with the Better Business Bureau Torch Awards. We've had a few customers uh, win that award and they feature it prominently on their website. They talk about it. They have the little emblem on their website. That is uh, one example of something that's very newsworthy. And because your prospects require significant investment of not only time, but also money, because I'm assuming that it's thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars to do this in some cases, your prospects are entering and exiting the marketing funnel at different phases. So you have to think about what type of content they're reading. So is it enough that they're aware that your website exists, but maybe you haven't had any projects or any news that you can share since 2015 or 2016? They're probably more likely to engage with a competitor or someone else that has more current contact content because they want to know that uh, they're dealing with a company that 
and knows what it's doing. And that's where credibility comes in. And then the TOMA is top of mind awareness. So top of mind awareness is what social media as a tactic can really help you with because it keeps you in uh, the, the center sphere. It keeps you under consideration when people have that need because they're gonna call you. It also, social media also amplifies that content. So you have a LinkedIn network, you have a Facebook network, you have Twitter, you have Instagram. You probably have some overlap, but they don't completely overlap. There are people that will stay only on Instagram or they'll only stay on Facebook or they just stick to LinkedIn. It's important to build all your social networks so that you can amplify the content and share it across all your social media networks. So earned media is public relations. That is a source of content. Content. So when you see people on the TV, uh, you know, I've been reading about the airport roof fire uh, that prevented all the flights added to the snow and the TSA delays and everything like that. That's just another opportunity for someone to give expert commentary. Why did it happen? What is the solution? Uh, you read it in the print, St. Louis Business Journal, Post-Dispatch, you hear it on the radio. And when you, we talk on the radio, it's not about the ads, it's actually about expert commentary as to why, what is the solution. That's why you hear so many homeowner shows on Sunday, is because people want to, they want resolution to their problems and that's the time they're actually listening. They're, they're going, uh, they're doing, running errands on Sundays and people listen to the radio for those type of things. And then awards. What awards have you won that makes me want to trust you so that I know, like, and trust you? So an earned media piece that is shared on social media is potentially more powerful than a paid ad. Anyone can write a paid ad. Anyone can write and say, hey, we're great at this, we're the best at this, but all things being equal, people will give more uh, credence, will give uh, more uh, belief to something that comes from a third party. If it comes from a news story, if it comes from the web, that gives them validation and says, okay, I'm making the right choice in calling these people. 